My name is Sebastian Grabowski, technical lead around Industry 4.0, Industrial IoT and IoT in the domain of industries. I'm working in the Orange Business Service Organization. We rename to Orange Business now. There is international, worldwide known integrator which is handling different kinds of services around connectivity, security, and as well intelligent services connected, for instance, with Industry 4.0, Smart City and others. And my role within this team, because in fact I'm in the team of Smart Industry Consulting Europe, that together with my team, on the one hand, we try to create, innovate some services around Industry 4.0. On the other hand, well, I'm just advising in front of our clients which way they should choose. This domain is quite, quite big because, you know, we can touch smart cities, but as well, we are touching a lot of industries. They are in a certain momentum that they should just decide whether to go to digital transformation direction or to be on the same level and probably soon lose revenues because it is in inevitable direction, you know, this transformation because it just allows to to secure, to save money because of the operations, as well uh, extremely improve the processes on the shopping floor, in the warehouses, in offices, etc. The Orange business is in this business and I have a pleasure to be the part of the uh, European Smart uh, Industry Consulting Team. Blockchain in general has this kind of features which are not obvious for other domains like IoT for instance or cloud, etc because it's completely decentralized and uh, owns the smart contract, it means that creating completely new business roles on the market. That in comparison with others emerging technology, I think the blockchain is this missing a gap, missing puzzle to equip other emerging technologies. That is rather my perception. On the other hand, when I see how efficiently blockchain could be used, for instance, to track different extremely important services currently for big retailers, how to track different goods, you know, who produce it, who store it, who sell it, who pick it up, etc. People started to think about the source, where it was produced, who manufactured it. And this information is for many very important. And to create this efficient service, we should use blockchain because it's the easiest way to reuse it and create some value-added service for end customer. That's why for this area is quite well known, for others, I don't think. I as well know some cases that blockchain could be as well a way to recognize devices in the city, for instance. Normally, we are meeting a lot of different protocols, bunch of protocols. When you are using blockchain, and the way how blockchain works, we can easily recognize a device, give the device the level of security that not everybody can access it. On the other hand, NFT like fancy blockchains could be as well perceived as a digital key, for instance, because this small ID, small digits, could be reused in many different ways. The most popular currently, there is this kind of, you know, area that NFT are connected with some fashion, etc. But I see that tokens, especially non-fungible tokens, could have much more adoptions with business heart inside. I think that the first, the most important, that is the latency. It means the speed. As you know, biggest blockchain, they have some problems struggling with this speed. Because you know, if you have so many billions of transactions, it's really hard to guarantee the, the latency, you know. If we are speaking about the automotive company, for instance, we can use blockchain as the digital key to open your car, to share the key, you know, etc. However, the speed reaction should be, you know, micro, micro, micro uh, seconds. That is the one problem. Second one as well, I think that because of the sustainable goals, we should remember that something should change because big automotive providers, they really take care about the sustainable goals. That's why those two elements, on the other hand, as well the knowledge that blockchain could be reused to store, to share, to be the source of the, to source of other application and, and use cases. But it's really hard to find some use cases needed for a smart city, for transparency, for democracy as well. Because whatever we're gonna say, blockchain, probably there is one of the most democratic tool 
because it's creating the openness, the openness and transparency. Very often the bridge for me, the connection between blockchain is very direct to democracy because we can create engagement, we are creating the trust and we giving the tool to, to just to check what is happening. Everything is visible, you know, however certain rules and education is very important. I think that, uh, not if I think I know about it, that the biggest problem is with the knowledge about the blockchain. Unfortunately of the blockchain is that is for many is perceived as a tool to trade cryptocurrencies. And the problem with competences is that people don't understand those benefits. The perception is okay. Some scammers appeared, they scam people and now we will not touch it because it's only connected with cryptocurrencies. But honestly speaking, it's not like that. Blockchain, there is a technology which could be adopted for many different use cases. Unfortunately, unfortunately cryptocurrencies are a ruling because it's the easiest way to get a money, unfortunately. That's how we can overcome this problem, this bad behavior of using blockchain. I think that education, from time to time even evangelization, those kind of conferences which are showing that blockchain is not only coin and cryptocurrency coin, you know, because through it we can just educate, teach people, in fact, what kind of use cases they can adopt, how many different possibilities exist on the market to reuse blockchain. And I think that through education and as well from time to time, as well these good angels from the government, from public side, those people should have a knowledge and after that they could be as well the, those guys who can just describe how to use it. It's not bad. However, there are certain rules that we should follow, etc. It doesn't sound that I would like to regulate blockchain because I still believe that blockchain could completely change the internet because of the rights of creators of the content. However, I still believe that blockchain could be open. However, certain rules and certain competences are needed to make the mass adoption.